Go! Who's gonna get it into turn row one? Robbo gets away well, and that is Marco right there on the outside, not able to get alongside. That's the Alpine gonna take the lead immediately. The Haas of Sebel goes off the circuit, momentarily gonna lose more momentum as he's gonna get passed by maybe the other McLaren side by side as they carry on. Cars off in the background, not entirely sure what happened there. There was a cone going off somewhere. That is Sebel trying to get back to the inside looks like he might have a go but Gilly's on the outside putting the pressure on the McLaren makes the mistake and the switchback is on will he get the traction down and manage to make it work no yes he will actually he does manage to make it work Gilly going around the outside incredible stuff we've now got Jordi trying to make his way through as a higher tier driver he's going to be really really careful that he doesn't cause any issues he is going to go on Gilly but no decides to try and take the racing line again but there's a a car behind him. Got to be so, so careful. Nifo Jan right there. It's so, so tight between these guys in P9. Oh, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Jordi is going a bit too aggressive here as he now sends it to the inside. It is there goes Nifo making a bit of a mistake but coming into the long left-hander. Is he going to make a move? No, but Pursun goes for the move on Rex Day. But can he get the traction down? No, he can't. Rex Day manages to get it down and he keeps P9 for now. Side by side with Marco and Robbo. Robbo trying to hold on. A switchback is possibly on here for Marco. Tried to force Robbo into an awkward line so he could get a good run. Not good enough, unfortunately. Sebok try to look for a creative line into the last corner now, and he's going to go for the move down the inside. Off Tafari, it's going to be close. They make contact, wheels buying, but Tafari has that outside line a lot more grip, and he's going to keep his position in P4. But here comes Gilly. He's always there when he when people make mistakes, and he's going to go into turn one now, but he can't seem to make the move. Sebok absolutely flying the straight line. He still sends it up the inside somehow, but he does not manage to make it. Uh, and here comes Sebok, he makes a mistake, and Gilly's surely going to go down the inside. Now he is. Now he's going to be under pressure from Devil Jam, but no! He's staying side by side. The straight line speed's helped him so much. He's going to loop it right around the outside, and these guys are still by side by side. It's incredible, but Gilly eventually gets the move. However, Sebok's going to get the switch back. He's very wise. Gilly tried to get his way up the inside, and I think he might have got it, but on the straight, remember, Sebok is so quick. He's like a bullet in the straight line. No one can compete with him on the straight. Now, he just slides past him. There's no way Gilly can compete. And Sebok is actually only side by side. I thought he would have been much farther ahead. But no, Gilly hangs it around the outside with the high downforce. He breaks late and he manages to get the position. Robbo running away with this as he's about to start. Lap five onto the inside. Goes Pursun. Sebok, is he going to have to yield on the exit? It is pro Sebok as he manages to get a phenomenal run. Brilliant, brilliant job here. Using the ERS as Pursun as he goes to the outside line. He's not really going to be close enough, but he still sends it round the outside outside will he have the grip to hold it i don't know he does gilly is having a look here on the mclaren is he gonna go to the inside he is gonna go to the inside tafari has to leave the space has to lift to stay within track limits and gilly takes the inside line is he gonna get it on exit though pursuits also to the inside tafari's kind of thinking you know what i'm gonna try and hold off Pursuit here and secure this position otherwise I'm going to be in big big trouble and he's done a phenomenal job of doing that he might even consider going back on the Ferrari oh he is he is going to send it understeers and pushes Gilly wide somehow managing to stay in a straight line that was absolutely crucial here we go Pursuit is right behind and he wants to go for the Ferrari really unfair for Gilly he's hating this at the moment but it it's happened but soon is he gonna try and send it again like he did on Sebok he is and is he gonna make it work no Gilly hangs it around the outside on the exit and they get the run but it's still side by side a drag race into the first chicane is it gonna work out still side by side I couldn't tell you back to the inside line goes but soon you have the advantage and you're gonna have the inside once again and he should have the run Gilly is probably gonna have to back out here and maybe consider defending from Sebok, because Sebok, look at that run from him.
Yeah, Sabot got an absolutely amazing run onto the straight. Now, he's going to look to the inside, and he's absolutely flying. He almost catches up to pursue, and that's how fast he is on the straight. But now Gilly's going to go back around the outside like he'd done to him beforehand, and he makes the move stick. Robbo down from the lead of the race, and that could be valuable, valuable points gone here. He seems to have a significant pace advantage. He doesn't have damage, so he might be able to get this back, but he's got a lot of work to do. Only one and a half laps to really get that done. Side by side, Defari Bassoon tries to get the job done. He does get the job done. Look at that is Bassoon going to the outside line. I do want to have a quick look at the guys ahead. Looks like Bassoon has got that move done. We'll have to watch on board in a little bit. That is Robbo trying to get anything back they possibly can. They're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Back to the other guys on the main straight. Is anybody going to find another way through? There's a car off. Gibby trying to hold on into the toe and have a look back to the inside for one final time. It's not going to work. Tafari on the inside as well. It's not going to work for him either. It's going to be what it is. That's Gilly making that position back just about side by side. Here we go though. Robbo for the lead of the race. He sticks his nose in. The space is left. Is he going to be able to get the move in the final few corners? This is for the win. Lap 9 out of 9. One sector to go. Is he going to send it? He's got the run. He's got the run. He's got it. I think he has. There's contact as it's so, so tight. He couldn't keep it tight enough. And that is Robbo going to take it. Marco hopefully going to stay P2 as he squirms. That is Bassoon in P3. Gibby is going to have to sit in P4 now as there's a bit of a gap. That's Gilly sending it to the inside line. Just about a avoiding contact. Tafari right behind. Is he going to try and find anything here? No. That is Robbo taking the win. Mark MP2 then we got Pursun. Gibby Gilly Tafari, Subok, Frantic, Heischler Rex D and DNFing was Jordi and Nifo. Go! Who's going to get it into turn one? Robbo gets away well. Once again, it looks like it's going to be deja vu. But Marco squirming off the line. Pursuit to the inside. Will he finally get a good race start? It looks pretty good right now. Gilly trying to get in on the action as well. He's not quite close enough. That's a McLaren. That's a Red Bull off, unfortunately. Right there. That is not what we want to see. Gimme to the inside. Having an amazing race today. And he's made the move that was absolutely incredible what an overtake side by side with frantic and heichler behind as well and that's gibby having to give the position back or something they've had an issue gilly is gonna take it for now absolutely incredible robo running away with us at the moment that is frantic looking very racy but gibby is looking for another opportunity here on gilly will he get the move done into the chicane he backs off once again that is the mclaren going side by side frantic trying to show themselves in the main race as soon as they possibly can they had a tough race in the in the sprint race but now they're right here they're going to the inside line up the hill and he's gonna make that move stick a switch back is it gonna work for tabari no he's gonna have to wait behind and now into tournament one frantic and gibby are going side by side Frantic and Gibby make a bit of contact. He's going to hold it around the outside. And Gibby defends the position. It pushes Frantic a bit off track and onto the little uh, bumps of the curb. And he can't seem to make it work for now. Frantic, he's going to go down the inside. Yes, he is. Into the little chicane. He cuts the corner a bit. And Gibby's still going to be there. But he holds his position for now. And he keeps uh, Frantic now up into P5. Still really trying to look for the switchback manoeuvres. He now has the outside line and he can open up the corner a little bit more compared to Frantic. Got to be careful. He doesn't make contact with the rear. Going to try and tuck in the slipstream, then get a run. But no, he can't quite find it yet. We've got a car behind. Sebok retires on the exit. I do not believe it. What a shame. Loses the rear of the car and that's going to be that one done. I was just going to say, the further he gets into this race, he's going to get quicker. That is a slight mistake. And the contact, bit of demon dragging we had right there. That allows Jordi and Heischler to go for a move. Jordi going to stick it to the inside line. There's going to be contact. 
And that is going to be game over, unfortunately. Here comes Pursuit. He's got an absolutely fantastic exit coming into the fast right hand route. He doesn't even need the corner to overtake him. He's already through on Marco. Marco struggling quite a bit. And now he's up into P2. Great stuff. As that you see uh, Frantic and Jordi making moves. There's a bit of contact as he loses the rear of the car. Frantic's not going to be happy as he's still going to try and go for a move on the exit. Is it going to work for him? That is Jordi on the inside. He's going to have to leave the space. Frantic's going to have to leave the space. He doesn't leave the space. He cuts him off. But Niffo, Niffo seems to be running quite low down for us. I don't know. His setup's so confusing, but he's going to go down the inside of Marco into the fast right-hander. He holds it around the outside. He's coming into the fast side. Now he's got the inside. He breaks a bit early, releases the brake pedal, but Niffo is going to hold it around the outside, skating the car along the curb, and that's him finally up into P3. Good job. And that is Marco going way off the circuit and gets himself a three second by the game no 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 robo has a puncher he's gonna have to go for the soft tire i don't think he really has a choice to be honest and now he sees rob on his sights he's gonna go to the left hand side which isn't the best because he'll probably understeer into them goes right around the outside oh there's contact between him and robo Pursuit staying in. out longer. That is uh, Gilly, yeah, Gilly, Gilly in. I don't know if that's a bad idea. Not really track conditions like it. Although Gilly at the moment is just making sure that he secures this P2. Pursuit is at risk of getting a puncture if he's not careful. But because he's got such a gap to everyone else around him now, he can just cruise. Nifo is going to come round to finish this race in p1 the french grand prix he will take the double he will get that f1.5 eu championship race win overall but this guy is going to win it for the eu drivers as he comes around the final corner he's going to win his first race this season pursuit is going to cross the line that is absolutely amazing brilliant job for him not getting a puncture in the end gilly was just securing that p2 for the eu drivers i think that is very very well played that is nifo giant taking the win we got pursuit in p2 gilly with the fastest lap and we have rex d robo frantic yordi uh, DNFing followed by Marco Heischler, Tafari, Gibby and Sebok.